Hello, my amazing artist. Today we are starting our unit all about texture. Texture is the way that something looks and feels. Now, we gotta talk a little bit more about that because when an artist is adding texture into their artwork, they might be adding texture that when you touch the artwork, you could really feel how bumpy or soft or hairy something is by adding a texture in maybe through collage, such as cutting and gluing a texture on your artwork. But there's also visual texture. Visual texture means it looks like it feels a certain way, but if we touch the artwork, it really doesn't feel that way. So this week, we are gonna get started by studying two types of visual textures and one type of tactile. That word tactile means we can touch it tactile textures. And we're going to do this through a graphic organizer. I have kind of an accordion book for you. Visual texture, the first thing we're going to do is crown rubbings. And I'm going to reintroduce you to those and how to do a crown rubbing and fill this side of your paper with it. I want you to really look for different things around your space that are hard surfaces that you can lay your paper on top of and do a good crown rubbing. Notice how I have more than four textures. So I can have variety and I also have more than four colors to increase visual variety in my crayon rubbing sample. You're going to stretch your paper out and you also will see visual textures. Um, this is through drawing. So an artist not only does texture rubbings, but they can also draw to create textures. It's almost like they're playing a magic trick on you. When you have somebody draw something using lines and shapes to where it starts to look like it feels a certain way if only we could just touch it here are some examples that i chose <clears throat> excuse me hairy bumpy scaly soft rough in our playlist on our learning system i have different examples of how to get started with creating these different textures kind of like idea boards from other artists that i want you to try out last but not least this part is empty which i know looks a little funny Tactile. The word tactile texture means we can actually touch it. We can feel it with our fingers. And these are found objects. So they're objects that I found around the classroom, around my house. So they're not ones that I would glue down here. In fact, I laid them on my paper, labeled them as rough, hard, bumpy, smooth, and then took a picture of my final project for this graphic organizer about texture. So to get started, I want you to take your paper whatever paper you have and fold it into three sections. You're going to label your paper, visual texture with crayon rubbings, visual texture with drawing, and tactile texture with found objects. This creates three equal sections for you to work within. As you go through our playlist, you're gonna see how we can progress through each section of textures. But this was a preview of what we're getting started with. Happy making, and I cannot wait to see what textures you find, draw, and are able to touch. Happy making.